In this video, we are going to go over Zoho CRM and how to manage leads through a pipeline. This is a web-based system, an online application here that you can use to manage leads in between from the time you capture them to the time you're out uh, on a measure and taking it through the sales screening queue floors. So for those of you using a website to capture leads, this can be kind of a middle bridge between how you captured it, whether it was online and online form or even someone that just walked in. You can enter in a record here, keep track of those people and push them through a pipeline stage by stage, even before you go out to measure. So this would be your marketing purposes, um, contact points, calls, keeping track of meetings with them, sample checkout, everything like that can be managed here in Zoho. So I'll walk you through a little bit about this now. At the top is where you're going to keep track of the different screens inside of Zoho. So if you go to the home screen, for example, you come up to a dashboard and this is a custom dashboard that you can create uh, with different charts or lists, uh, depending upon the role of the employee that's using it. For managers, it might be more of a high level view, whereas your day to day you know, employees, it'll have activities, calendar schedules, things like that. All of that's built in here. Let's jump over to the deals section. This is where you'll manage your pipeline. Okay. Each one of these tiles represents a specific job. You can manage things using these filters. You can sort by specific sales reps or the job name or the contractor name, anything like that. You can either do a global search here and just type it in, or you can set your filters here. Maybe we just want to look at one specific sales rep. You can choose who it was assigned to and then filter it by that specific sales rep. Okay. You can also save those filters. Right now I'm looking at all deals, but you can save the filters. These are a few I've just, I've selected here. Looks like Sally doesn't have any jobs. Let's go to Sam. Okay. And here you can see. Sam's jobs. Now, this is a dummy database here, so there's not a whole lot of info. Let's go back to all deals to give you a, a broader look at this. Each of these tiles will display certain information. You see here, I have this samples, whether they have samples checked out or checked in showing. That's something you can turn on or turn off depending on what information you want on this first facing screen here, as well as the deal stages here. So we have the deal stages going across the top. I can customize these, I can reorder them, I can rename them, anything like that. So this is just a generic example. You can create your own stages. Once you get the stages set, it's pretty simple to move the tile through the stages. You just drag and drop, and then that will automatically retotal those and track those. If you click on the deal, you actually get more information on this record. So for example, this is a new build for Nikki Fender. We got the contact information clearly displayed at the top and then built a few fields I've built down below here. This is the Qfloor sales number. You can match that up if you have a sale in Qfloor for it. Additional company or account names, things like that. Uh, the salesperson they're assigned to, the stage they're in whether the sample is in or out, address information, pretty straightforward, the description, how they heard about you, those types of questions can also be built in. And then all of this can be customized. So products they're interested in, for example, I've got a list here. You can create your own list. So for example, if interested in carpet, we'll save that. But you can create your own fields and your own list to match what your company is gathering, what information is pertinent to you guys, you can build into here. Another cool thing you can do is to show the timeline. So who's handling this deal, how much activity has there been on it, all the different changes that have been made to it are, are clearly logged in the background of the timeline here. Now, right from here, you can also create activities associated with this deal. So I could create a task for a measure, for example, Put the date today, who's doing it, 
And again, as common throughout all of Zoho, all of these fields are customizable. So if I want to add additional fields, things that I want to keep track of, notes on who's home, who's going to be letting them in, um, any special instructions, the keys under the mat, or don't let the dog out, things like that you could put in there as well. Um, and really customize this to capture the information that you need. Once you save the task, you'll notice the task is clearly visible at the top of the deal record. And then if we go back to the pipeline view, using my filters to pull out the appropriate pipeline, you can also see this little icon in the corner displaying the task as well. So right from a high level here, I can see that there's tasks associated with these deals. There's also other lists within the system. Let's say you don't want to view it in the pipeline stage here. Maybe we just want to view our tasks that we have coming up. So if I go to the tasks view, it's a different list here of all the tasks. Of course, I can use my filters to just show certain tasks of certain people or certain days, maybe certain types of tasks. And then you can also save those filters to your list. You can see the ones that are here built in for you, but you can also create custom views to combine filters and get your people the right list. And then these are the lists that can also be added to your home screen. So what we've found is that it's a, a really simple way to give you a lot of freedom in creating customized CRM pipelines to manage the in-between queue floors and wherever you're capturing the lead. If we come back to a deal, there is another feature I want to show you. You can send the information of the contact straight into Queue Floors. So you'll notice at the top, we have an Export to Queue Connect button. If you click this button, it will send this information through the internet and you can open up Queue Floors and import this contact either to a lead or straight to a proposal without retyping any of the information. Any name, email, phone number, address, all that information will be sent forward. There are other videos uh, that will explain how to do that. We also have multiple features outside of this scope that you could use this for as far as marketing campaigns, social media, connecting to your social media and managing that in here, expansive reports, lots of different features in Zoho besides what we've talked about. But this is the easiest use case for managing a pipeline in a CRM. Pricing for Zoho is at this time as low as $20 a month. That gets you up to three people accessing the system at once. If you want more features, they have different packages for that. If you pay annually, it can be less than that. It can go as low as $14, I believe, if you pay annually. But this is Zoho CRM and an example of how you could manage your leads before you actually create the proposals in Qfloors. Some people will actually create stages after the sale is complete. You can build as many stages as you want to track fulfillment or follow up, anything like that. You know, we have multiple stages here. You can build out and, and assign tasks to that can happen automatically. Emails that get sent out, all of that can be built in here as part of your processes. And so this is just an overview, a quick video on what Zoho can do. Um, there's other CRMs out there. This is one that we integrate with and uh, have found is very simple, very affordable and does a great job filling the gap between capturing that initial lead and handling the sale through Qfloors.